Tracks is sponsored by Polaris, think outside. Can-Am, time for some off-road living. And by Yamaha, revs your heart. As you can see, winter has come here at the Dirt Tracks World Headquarters, and it's going to come even more. We're expecting more snow, and, and it's just gonna turn into a winter wonderland, which I love. But before we get too much snow, I need to head out and check on a buddy's hunt camp, and that hunt camp is on one of the toughest trails in the entire county. So I tried to figure out what vehicle would be best to go on this trip with, and I mean, we have a brand new Ranger SP here, so I'm gonna take that, and there's a reason why. I wanted to bring this Ranger 570 ST. This is a mid-size Ranger. And these Rangers are basically universally useful for everything. They're completely capable of almost anything you wanna do with them, whether it be going for a trail ride, which is sort of what we're doing right now, or if it's hauling stuff, which we're also doing right now, rock crawling, which this trail has a ton of, Basically anything you want to do, you can do with a mid-size Ranger 570. Now, another aspect of it that's important is that this is a very tight trail. So this is only 56 inches wide is the 570 Ranger of total width. Um, it's very maneuverable and it fits on any trail. So this is really the perfect vehicle for doing stuff like this. The 570, I think people scoff at a little bit because they think it's underpowered as a 570 single, but the reality is this thing makes 44 horsepower. And so far on this ride, which is, this is the most technical trail in my whole area. I haven't had to use low range once. Everywhere I wanna go, like right now, it's just crawling along, so perfect. It has excellent low end torque. And I think that the improvement in that is largely due to the new larger diameter clutches in 2022 on this new 570. You can be as smooth as you want to be. You can make the smallest throttle inputs and it just is butter. I absolutely love how this thing's clutched and how the motor works. No complaints whatsoever. Um, 44, it definitely feels like it has more than 44 horsepower for sure. Obviously the cool styling of this thing is important because people want a vehicle that looks cool. But the reality is it's not important to how it works, but there's no question when you walk into a showroom or when you're out on the trail with your buddies, you wanna have a vehicle that looks tough. And this one looks super tough. It's an almost exact copy of the new full-size Rangers. And they did a great job uh, making it similar, but smaller without looking like it's downsized. Another major improvement that they made to the 570 for 2022 that the Polaris engineers made was this vehicle now has a 660 watt stator, which means it is far more capable of running way more accessories. Say you put a cab on it, you want to put a heater, it can do that. If you want to run a bunch of light bars like everybody seems to want to do, ah, snow, you can do that too. Um, all the different features that you might want, all the different accessories, this thing can run them no problem. In terms of utility, the big upgrade, I think, uh, besides the stator on this unit, is the cargo box. When you're headed out to a hunt camp like we are, you're hauling stuff like, you know, a generator, a can of gas, um, a cooler with some food, you know, your gear for the couple nights you're there. You're not usually hauling more than 500 pounds, but you take up a lot of space because those items are larger. So having a larger cargo box means that even though you're not gonna maybe overload it or you can't load it with more weight, you can definitely load it with more stuff. And that's, for a lot of people, that's even more important. One thing I'm impressed with, uh, especially on this trail that's really gnarly in a lot of spots, is just how good this thing rides. This 570 Ranger, it rides as good as any other full-size vehicle that I've driven. 
Uh, it has nine inches of travel up front, 10 in the back. It's preload adjustable only, but it really rides good. Fully independent, obviously, uh, but you can feel the suspension articulating. You can feel it moving over the rocks and the, and the rough ground. Uh, it keeps the wheels in contact with the ground, which is really nice. You're always getting good traction and uh, it just provides a really smooth ride. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by MBRP Performance Exhaust, built for the Victory Lab. This time of year is always very interesting because the puddles are all frozen. There's about an inch of ice on all of these puddles and water crossings. So it makes traversing them even more interesting. <laughs> One more thing uh, that I notice about this vehicle that I have to gripe about, and I don't have a lot of gripes, and they're fairly minor, um, is the steering wheel. Now, there's nothing wrong with the shape of the steering wheel. It tilts, which is really nice, and, and I like that feature, but it's kind of a hard plastic. It's not rubberized, and when you're wearing certain types of gloves or when you get your gloves wet or muddy, uh, it can get a little bit slippery. I just think, you know, for whatever, extra cost the rubberized steering wheel you know incurs um it's worth it especially on a higher end model like this should have the rubber steering wheel for better grip um it's not a huge issue the steering wheel works fine but it could be better and i think on the sp it should be now there's a, a long list of other changes some small some big that the 2022 570 Ranger midsize has uh, received this year. There's changes to the chassis, uh, it's stronger. Um, there's obviously a ton of changes to the interior. Um, it's completely redesigned, so obviously there's a ton of changes, but uh, the interior is really nice. You've got three 12 volt outlets uh, and a charge port as all Polaris vehicles come with now. Um, one thing people don't know about that 12 volt charging port for charging a vehicle is that you can actually get an adapter and you can power other stuff off of that plug. So you actually have four 12 volt outlets on this vehicle. Now, the one thing I'll say about the, the outlets, it's great to have so many, but they are all regular 12 volt cigarette lighter style plugs. There isn't a, not one of them has USB plugs. And I think that that would have made a lot more sense. I mean, sure you can get an adapter, but just having the USB plugs in the dash would make way more sense. I've spent quite a bit of time in this Ranger um, up to this point, not just today, but in previous days as well. I've been using it quite a bit. And uh, Polaris does a great job with accessories. They have such a long list of accessories. And there's a few that I can see right off the bat. I mean, they're the standard ones that everybody should have. And I honestly don't think you should leave your dealership without it. The first one is a roof. I'm covered in snow. And if it wasn't, uh, if it wasn't open, if I had a roof, I wouldn't be covered in snow. So to me, um, a roof is like, just get one. The other one is a windshield. A half windshield would be ideal, especially on a cold day like today. This vehicle doesn't come with a winch. Um, you're gonna want an add a winch. Now, those are things that you're gonna have to have right off the top, in my opinion. Other than that though, there really isn't a lot of other things I think you have to do. I mean, all kinds of things you could do if you want, but once you got a windshield, a roof, and a winch, you're pretty much set for almost any situation you might find yourself in. Man, I love this trail. So many technical spots in here. And I love that the Ranger just has no trouble with them. And you expect the Ranger to be more just for utility purposes and not as great in the woods, I guess you could say, but that isn't the case at all. If I can get out here 
with this vehicle, then this thing will go anywhere. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto. Make it work. I know I'm not shocking you by saying that all the fun that we have off-road will eventually cause parts to either get worn out or broken. It's inevitable, but knowing where to go when your rig does get broken to get it back on the trail, now that's something worth talking about. And I guess if I'm being honest, it doesn't even have to be the need for replacement parts. Say you want to take your Razor XP1000 up a notch and add a nice poly roof like this angular CNC cut sand grain finish roof from Kimpex. And while you're at it, you might think, hey, a rear sport now would help to cut some of the sunlight streaming in on me and my passengers next, and also give some protection from debris flying in from the rear. Who knows, while you're at it, you might even look at a storage solution like this 85 liter lockable, easily removable cargo box that'll also link up with the Rotopax gas tank in a cool little recess on the lid. There are these kinds of things that you can easily source from Kimpex and the kinds of projects you can accomplish with just a few clicks of your mouse and voila, you've got the parts on your front door. I know I've told you so many times over the years how easy it is to use Kimpex Parts Finder on their website to find specific parts for your vehicle. But the truth is it's not just for upgrades. Years go by, miles add up, and stuff wears out or gets broken. Possibly one of the most common areas that you may be looking at some repairs, axles. Yeah, we all have them and eventually the rubber boots wear out or worst case get punctured and cause a premature failure. While there are many options out there for you to choose, Kimpex has two house brands available for an incredibly wide variety of ATVs and side-by-sides. The standard complete replacement or their upgraded Kimpex HD complete axles built to exceed your standard equipment in all ways. These axles are abusively tested and designed to take a beating. They utilize all kinds of heat treated chrome ole with up to 35% stronger shafts and feature premium heat treated joints with high temp molly grease. In simple terms, these are built to last longer than the ones that you're replacing. Now, when it comes to bearings, ball joints, or universals, these are all parts that you can custom order and tackle the project at home. Maybe it's a winter rebuild in the shop or a quick summer tune-up. Kimpex has the parts that you need to get back on the trail, new or old. Need drum brake shoes for your solid axle ATV? Got them. Need regular brake pads for your independent or sport quad? Yep, in stock. Air filters? Mm-hmm. What about a brand new replacement factory fit battery? Not a problem at all. Or even finding factory fit replacement shocks? Heck, you can even order replacement exhaust systems that are nearly a match to the stock exhaust that came on your ATV or side-by-side. -side. And what's cool is they also have universal exhaust that can be custom fit should you be changing things up or fixing an ATV that's obscure or possibly even prehistoric. Now, a lot of the times when we think vehicle-specific specialty parts, we don't necessarily think aftermarket, but it's never a bad thing to take a look. How about complete tie rod replacement kits? Okay, you're right. They have them, but that's not specific enough. Replacement radiators? Yeah, those are not something that you typically find in an aftermarket's parts catalog. 
That typically takes a trip to the specific dealer for a specific part number and can mean a long wait to get it or a part that's no longer made. Well, Kimpex has got stock. They've got lots of stock and fitment for so many ATVs, I'm not even gonna start to list them. Now let's take it one step further. What about shift and throttle cables? Did you ever think that you could actually go onto a site like Kimpex and find this kind of specific specialty replacement parts? Well, you can, and the selection is impressive, covering North American and Japanese ATV and side-by-side -side manufacturers. And this is just a short list of the parts and pieces that you can find. While many times I show you all of the upgrades that Kimpex supplies to add onto your ATV or side-by-side, -side, never forget that these same folks can also provide you with just about any part necessary for the repairs on your ATV and side-by-side. Earlier this season, I was able to get out and have some fun with my friends from Hercules Tires and tackle the best that Moab, Utah could throw at their truck and SUV tires. But during that trip, there was something that happened I've never told you about. And that something is the all new TIS Off-Road UT1 by Hercules Tires. This is the first step into the off-highway market for Hercules who are expanding their reach of their brand and offering Hercules dealers the ability to now offer side-by-side -side riders not only truck, SUV, and car tires, but a pair of new shoes for their UTV as well. While this may not seem like a huge transition from the norm, there are very few automotive tire brands that offer off-road ATV and side-by-side -side tires from the same automotive tire dealers. I, for one, am very excited for the ability to go to the professionals at a Hercules tire shop and order and have mounted my brand new UT1 tires. It just makes sense to go to the pros to not only get your automotive tire needs met, but really all tire needs met. The UT1 is a collaboration between TIS wheels, which stands for 20 inches strong, and Hercules tires. And now the reasoning behind that collaboration makes complete sense. TIS is one of the most well-known brands in the wheel industry. So working with TIS to co-brand and therefore be able to utilize the massive marketing machine behind them is a huge step to fast tracking the new UT1 tire. TIS is also offering two new ATV and UTV rims in seven different finishes for this new collaboration. The wheel and tire packages are beautifully designed and look right at home on even the most aggressive and powerful side-by-sides, but are more than just a big horsepower package. I had the opportunity to put these tires and rims through a rigorous testing of everything from hard packed dirt to gnarly slick rock crawling and high speed desert sand and walked away with a very solid understanding of what the UT1's capabilities are and where they fit in the tire landscape. And that market is the very broad-based all-terrain category where it offers the most abilities in the widest variety of terrains. The UT1 is an eight ply rated tire that has an aggressive tread block layout specifically designed for the side-by-side -side market. Hercules specifically balanced the void ratio and utilized biting edges on the tread block to span the widest terrain. The sidewall of the tire features a dual pattern design where the two separate sidewalls are completely different in design. So you can customize the look of your tires. The sidewalls feature a dual buttress design with bolstered shoulder lugs, or to put it simply, these tires grab at everything that's below or likewise beside them. Now there's a lot of technical jargon that goes into tire specs. From elongated stone ejectors to scalloped shoulder lugs and dual compound treads, but the brass tacks is, do they really work? And I can say with assurance, yeah, they do. The UT1 is a beast, gripping the earth no matter the situations I put it into. I had wet, slippery rock, sandy, washed out riverbeds and muddy creek crossings, high speed gravel fire roads and slow rock crawling, and there was no situation that I was not impressed with the traction provided. Noting that these terrains were encountered on the same day, I was very impressed at the clear out of these tires. The ability to move sand and mud and rocks out of the tread's face and continue to grab. The high speed stability on gravel pelted fire road conditions was tangible. The UT1s mounted to my Maverick X3 tracked straight and stayed stable at 70 plus miles per hour in full drift. The tread compound, even after a hard day of aggressive riding and intentionally trying to put a beating on these tires, left no visible wear. 
High-speed strikes and low-speed rock pinches weren't able to phase the UT-1, and I was left with a solid understanding that Hercules has done their homework and put automotive-level research into an off-road tire that truly delivers. The new TIS Off-Road UT-1 by Hercules Tires, as well as the TIS Off-Road Rims, will be available during the 2022 season. You can find out more information by visiting Hercules Tires' website and looking at their dealer locator, or by visiting your local Hercules Tires dealer. Dirt Tracks has been sponsored by Hercules Tire. Ride in our strength. Jemco Cargo Box is be prepared for anything. And by Mad Ramps. Leave the trailer and go.